Another day, another hunt on Tiaoroa, and one more day closer to the release of Revon Tuli Coast. And with Revon Tuli Coast coming to the game very, very soon, I realized that we might not have too much time left to try and get a great one before this update. So we're going to spend some extra time grinding the Red Deer Great One during the next couple days. And we had some pretty good luck already in one of the live streams that I did recently. And well, we're going to show those highlights towards the end of this video because there was some incredible stuff that happened. But I have something in front of me right now that we need to take out first. This is a level 9 legendary Red Deer guaranteed diamond, most likely the Big Rex. So let's just get that down real quickly. And that is a beautiful stag going onto the ground. Now, as you guys probably know, I typically don't start a video off with a diamond in our sights, but we have so much to get through today that I decided this was the perfect way to start it out. I was doing a uh, couple runs here real quickly before I started the uh, stream today, and we ran across this guy, so I figured, what a way to start the video, right? So that's what we did, and today's video is going to have quite a few highlights from the Red Deer Grind because I have so many clips from the past probably six or seven months that I just have not posted because, I mean, let's face it, I have posted so much Red Deer content on the channel that most of you are probably tired of it, so I've just kind of been saving the clips back, but it's about time that we actually show them, and that is a max weight 267.50. I don't know what it is about this lake, but this lake has been where I've got the majority of my max weight diamond stags. I think I've killed three or four of them, at this lake and the lake below it alone, which is crazy because throughout the rest of the map I've only shot maybe one, uh, two if I'm lucky, of the max weight stags, but these two lakes here, just loaded with them it seems. And we had a pretty massive stag recently on stream as well that will be shown in this video towards the end. But I think it's about time we get into a bunch of the different highlights from the last few months of grinding the Great One Red Deer.
Wow, do you see the estimate on that giant stag? 264 to 310 on the estimate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Because of this method that we're doing right now, I can't shoot this until next run. This is our last run of shooting all of the smallest stags. We gotta shoot this guy on the next run. So yeah, we're gonna have to let him chill for a second. This could be a 270 stag. You guys are completely correct. This could be a 270. With as huge as that is. But we do have to kill it next run. I don't want to throw off the uh, pattern that we've been doing. We got to make sure that we kill all of these small males on this run. And then the next run, we will take out all of these sevens, eights, and nines. There, That's a new legendary. <laughs> that's a new one. Uh, hi. So we got another level nine. That's two level nines on our map at the same time at the same lake. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This method's 100% working, guys. Like, wow. This this method definitely works. We've got two level nines at the same lake. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to continue using this method, I think. This is working out so well. Let's turn off our light. Zero to 300. And let's finally get this guy down. Uh, what distance is he? We got to make sure we don't mess this up. 279. Perfect. So I can aim slightly low and it should hit right on the money. There we go. He's going down. And now we can get this guy as well. Ooh, dropped him. Beautiful. That is so awesome. Two level nines down. Here he is. Oh my gosh. Look at this absolute giant. Look at this tank of a stag. Um, I don't think it's going to be a 270. I'm going to say 268. I'm going to say 268.4. What do you guys think? What's it going to be? I'm calling 268.4. Let's see him. 266.70. So he's not as big as I thought, but he's still huge. That's still a giant stag regardless. What a beast. That estimate was definitely the highest estimate I've ever seen. An estimate all the way up to 310 on a stag is crazy. Never had that before. It's kind of strange the way it's always worked out for me, but I don't mind it. But here is our troll level 9, 240.40. 230 kgs on the dot. Second level 9 of this run, which is crazy. Really loving uh, the way this grinding method is working out. Let's uh, get that there, and then uh, just in case that doesn't go to plan, we will put one over here as well. So I think this should be about as good as we're going to get. He ran off in this direction, so we just got to wait for him to come back here. Oh, it's 21. Um, Might need to reset time. All right, let's just wait for him to come in now. It shouldn't be too long before he starts running over the hill. There is the small four. I believe there was a five or a six with our level nine. So I expect the smaller one to come over the hill first. If they do end up getting attracted to it. Oh, there's one of them. Okay, there's the five. The nine should be behind it. It shouldn't be too far. Okay, maybe. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Okay, the nine's got to be close. Ooh, there he is. Oh my gosh, look at that giant rat coming over the hill. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Look at that beauty. <laughs> that, is, that, that is so cool. I like that a lot. That is quite the sight. 30 meters. Uh, the other one just spooked off, so this guy is going attentive. Oh, he's running in. He's running in now. Oh, we nailed him. <laughs> oh my gosh. That went perfectly. I'd say that's definitely one of the coolest ways you can take a diamond out. 
Taking it from a tree stand with a bow. 264.90. Right through the center of the lungs. And that is diamond 19 of the grind. 19 diamonds, but no great one. But this was a good uh, first step towards being able to take this shot on a great one. Wanted to get a few different practice shots in, so we're going to try this on some of the other diamonds we find as well. Hello there. That is a piebald. Um, I have no idea if we got that. Did we get him? I think he got away. Hold on. We're going to have to uh, figure out where he is. Well, that was interesting. Where did he come from? I'll uh, get to your donation in a second, CB. I gotta get this piebald down. There he is. Oh, we did hit him, so we gotta be careful. Where is he? It's a pretty cool rack, too, so I'm actually kind of upset that I rushed that shot. Um, we should be fine, though. Wait, where did he go? There he is. <laughs> there he is. That is a beautiful piebald. There we go. We finally got him. Ugh, 36 minutes later. And we finally got him on the ground. That is a beautiful piebald. Like, such a good rack to get on it. Oh, it feels so good to finally get it down. It's a beautiful stag. What a good looking stag. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this thing up. It is a 183.90 gold. Just barely made gold and it is uneven, but that works really well. Like that really works good. That's got to be one of the nicest uneven red deer I've killed. Like that actually works really well together. I do have a mythical albino that has mismatch antlers that look almost the same as well, so... This is pretty nice to get along with that. Well, in front of us, we've got ourselves a albino red deer. Now, we haven't had a lot of these during this grind. It's been mainly piebalds. However, it's nice to see another one showing up, even if it is extremely small. And there's a uh, level 6 up there as well, but let's take this out first. And then go up to that one as well. Hopefully, we got a good shot into it. I'm not 100% sure if we did. It's uh, looking like it just died, though, so that was probably a decent shot. And there he is, a quite small but still cool albino red deer. Let's go ahead and pick him up. This one scores 145. Not too bad. It's decent for a level 5. I'll give it that. Uh, most of the level 5s I see are just, I mean, this on both sides. So it's good to see that one of them is this antler. It uh, doesn't look terrible. Always good to get a rare down regardless. So let's go ahead and tax it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue hunting. Well, just when I thought I had everything situated for this video, I get a message from Holocrow here that there is a melanistic red deer on her map that she would like me to shoot, and, well, I can't uh, pass up that offer after probably 8,000 kills on red deer between the release of Truex Red Deer and now, and never seeing one of these on my main account, and only ever getting one on my challenge account, I think it's about time we finally seal the deal on one, and this is one of the few trophies where I'm okay with not finding it myself. So, I think this is something that we need to take down very shortly. But first, I want to get a closer look. A lot of people always wonder why or how you're able to spot a melanistic in the night. But, I mean, it's pretty easy if you stare at the face. If you can see their face, it's pretty easy to tell. Yeah, he stands out pretty good. He definitely does. You know, I just realized something that's going to put a damper on my plan to get close and take some pictures. There is such thing as wind direction in this game, yeah, and it is I bad. I was just going to say, are you having fun with that idea yet? I mean, I, I think it's pushing more south. I have a tent. You could come up behind it. Yeah, I think the wind will be good, though. I think it is shifting more towards the south. And it's not going to be blowing directly towards him, so I think I'll be okay. Just, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like the wind is, uh, cooperating. We are 130 meters away. This is, uh, pretty cool. However, looks like the wind actually might be catching their scent. Or they might be catching the scent of me because of the wind. 
Yep, it looks like we're just gonna have to take it. We're just gonna have to take the shot. As much as I'd like to get pictures... I just watched my bullet go directly through his chest. What just happened? I mean, he's running towards us, so this'll be a nice photo op, I guess. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I watched my bullet go directly through its chest. How does that happen? It's happened to me a few times. Well, Even I suppose this player. is as good of a shot as I'll ever get. It did it again. Wait, no it didn't. Ah, uh, multiplayer things. I'm just gonna chalk that up to multiplayer things. Well, it's down regardless, but that was a very strange encounter and quite an odd way to finally seal the deal on one of these things as it floats back to me. Amazing! <laughs> I have not seen one of these since the one that I found on the uh, Great One Before Level 60 account. And it was nowhere near as nice as this one. That is beautiful. Hey. It feels so good to finally be looking at the trophy screen of one. And it's a half decent looking six as well. It's nice not to be seeing my trophy screen of one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there uh, any trophy in particular that you really, really, really want? Gator. A I gator? I need an albino or a mela gator. Well, I would have had one for you if I hadn't accidentally shot it thinking it was a common a couple weeks yeah, ago. I saw that. <laughs> but if you notice, uh, I just need anything for the mono lodge. So if you notice anything that fits, let me know. All right, for sure. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, cheater. Thank you, whoever was chasing me around in multiplayer. You just made us go to single player and find a diamond. I mean, I can't ask for anything more. This happens every single time we get chased out of multiplayer by a cheater. It's always for a reason. It's always for a reason, man. I'm telling you, this is like the third time that this has happened where we got chased out of multiplayer by a cheater and it led to something great. Uh, unfortunately, not a great one, but you know, a great nine? Cause it's, cause it's a level nine, I guess. We're gonna go with that. It's the great nine. We have found the great nine. There we go. He's going down. Dude, that is insane. That is so awesome. Dude, this is actually bigger than I thought. Hold on, this might be... Is this my first ever 270 red deer? I think it might be. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Dude, I, I didn't realize what I was looking at until we got this close and I see the width between the two antlers. This could be the two... Dude, this could be the 270. Dude, it is! Oh my gosh, yes! No way! <laughs> this day just can't get any better. This has been the craziest day ever. Dude. Oh, I, I, I bet that guy that was chasing us in multiplayer, trying to get us to quit the stream, I bet it is just absolutely grinding his gears, the fact that we just got a 270 diamond, all because he pushed us out of multiplayer. And I hope it is. I hope it's driving him crazy right now. He deserves it. Gosh, that is awesome. Such a giant red deer. That's my biggest red deer ever. That is officially the biggest red deer I've ever killed. Look at the width on this thing. Or biggest diamond, I should say. My gosh, man. I, I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is... This is one of those things that not many people have killed. I have only seen a few people kill a 270 scoring red deer. That's wild. That's just absurd. It is time that we finally take out Gerald. He's been with us for weeks at this point. He's been our- oh, that's a mythical. He's been our good luck charm. He's, uh, given us much luck on the Great One grind. But with the resets for all maps coming up very soon, 
and the release of Revon Tuli Coast, and I don't know when early access is going to happen. This might be the last chance I get to take him out, so we're going to do it. Gerald will forever be remembered, and he will be immortalized in one of our lodges. And that's how we do it. We gave Gerald a super quick death, completely painless, dropped him on the spot. You will be missed, buddy. You will be missed. You know, I think so, Bear. I think so. He will be a great one. He will come back as a great one. People have been calling it ever since we started leaving him alive. I've had so many people say that he is going to be the one that spawns a great one. Watch it happen. Watch it happen, man. If it does, I'm going to be a little freaked out, though. If we get a great one off of Gerald, I'm going to be kind of freaked out. Although with that 270 uh, scoring red deer that we just got, honestly, anything's possible, man. Like, we could get a great one soon. How's it going, Gerald? You will definitely be missed, buddy. You will be missed. But we took him out in a very painless way. Forever in our red deer room. Gerald, the level three. I mean, if this guy doesn't bring us the great one, I don't know what will. He will be the one that brings us a great one. Goodbye, Gerald. Genjin, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate the support, man. For Gerald, he will be missed. He will, man. We will miss him forever.